What's up guys, Chasing Lamy here, and uh, this is episode 29 of Tipping the Hatters, and today we are going to win the title. We had two games in the last episode trying to confirm it. We didn't confirm it. I'm very annoyed we didn't confirm it. Um, we are mathematically champions on goal difference, but it's not over until we get that notification. So, we're going to play the game now. Well, I say now. Just after the intro. We're going to do the intro and then we're going to play the game. That's the plan. See you in a sec, boys. Oh, Phil, <laughs> down to the tile decider. Um, as you can see we are 24 goals ahead of Crawley. If we win we're champions. If they don't win we're champions. If they win 25 nil and we're 24 nil and we lose um, they're champions. Seems unlikely doesn't it? FM's not going to FM you that badly. Although they are playing Chelmsford who are 18 and bad so we'll see um so i'm not taking any chances in terms of team selection which is why i've gone for this lineup uh wolston's in goal making his debut for the club ross was playing a right back um because we need to get him some game time uzanidis and parker at center half joe musket's playing at left back so we can develop these guys some more uh clark oda uh charlie lakin sebastian de Pre keeps his spot joel davis and Ronaldo Pearson and Reese Turner looking for 50 goals this season. They start up front. Uh, Clayton, Naby, Stott, Empson and Oswell is my backup. Like, oh my god, we're screwed. They've scored 25 goals. Backup. Um, yeah, it's a young team. We're going to develop them. Joel Davis, by the way, 15 years old. Look at that potential. 15 years old. He's got no determination like he doesn't he doesn't want to be a footballer it's like this or work in his dad's shop or something um but maybe winning a title on his, on his debut will make him a happier boy and he'll want to be a footballer again who knows um give him whatever squad number the game throws at him we don't care this is not time for that um we're gonna do it boys we cannot bottle job this it's nearly impossible Jay Cassidy, by the way, oh, legend. If you watch the streams, and you should be watching the streams, I signed him at Oxford City, and he was such a legend for me. Such a legend. Michael Woods. Remember Michael Woods? Once upon a time, Chelsea played, paid Leeds a million, well, two and a half million quid for this guy. Look at the success he's had since. Just oh, what a legend. Legend of a player. Anyway, oh, Scott Loach is good too. <laughs> Not that I should worry myself. Scott Scott Loach is decent. Um, had, had a lot of seasons as Watford's number one, and like until recently was Watford's number one. His career's been on the downward slide ever since Watford got money. I mean, I don't know what my buddy Pete would say about Watford being a Luton fan, but um, yeah. Anyway, let's win a title, boys. That's all we've got to do in this game. We've just got to win a title. I'm feeling good. I've told them there's no pressure. I have decided to. Use the full depth of my squad. Why isn't he involved? Uh, we want to try something else. Comes into the team because he's good. Uh, next season. Um, final day. We should be good. Let's get it done. Colin Ross is the captain today. Because he was the best guy for the job. Um, everything's in our hands. Can we become champions? <sighs> yeah. I don't think it makes a difference. Um, we'll soon find out. So, keep an eye on Crawley down here. Um, if you see that goal difference creeping towards 
51, let me know. Um, please don't let it happen. I've seen some freak results in FM in my time, but that would be a big one. Crawley have scored already. All right. All right, FM. Don't. I know I got a bit cocky putting the kids out, but let's not take the piss, all right? Um, the prey with a heady clearance. Nash. I'm expecting to lose this game, by the way. I'm going to warn you in advance. No illusions. Uh, Liam Nash has scored already. I am thoroughly expecting to lose this game. I need to make that clear. I expect to lose. Um, we're going to win the title on goal difference. We can't get 100 points. We couldn't get 100 points anyway. So it's not a big loss. It's a terrible tackle. Like how did, he, how did he get that so wrong? Nash was just a tiny touch in. There we go. But they still don't do something spectacular to finish above us. And if I've got this wrong, I'm going to send on Oswald and pray. <laughs> Actually, Stotty's played a few first team games as well. So has Clayton Phillips. It's, it's not like we're shy of backup options. Well, this is not the backup options we've got are terrible. Uh, let's try and motivate the players, encourage them a bit. Davis is looking enthused. That's good to see. Because he is just 15. Oh, he's, he's made the clearance. Turner's on it. Oh, Brees Turner's on the ball. Beautiful. Ronaldo Pearson's coming through. Target man playing his first game for a while. Turner, is he going to cross it into Oda? He is. Oda heads it. Oh. Lakin was going to get himself a goal. Oh, that's rare. That's rare when that happens. Okay. Come on, Reese. You just cleared two goals, son. Admittedly, I've not helped you out by surrounding you with the kids. I, I should have put the first team out just for that 50 goal mark, but I wanted to give the kids a chance. Dupre. Oh, so close. So close. All right, Widrington with a free kick. Let's do sort of get red. Get red. Oh, oh it's just, just end to end. End to end stuff. See if we can encourage them again. Can we? We can. Beautiful. Nash with a team of free kicks. Woods. Alright. Relax. Let's relax. It's okay. I'm just going to keep coming at us. Dupre. Okay. To Davis. Pearson. Pearson's picked up. No, he hasn't. Cassidy's got it. Oh, no. Watch it. Cassidy. Ah. Oh. No, he's going to score. Nash. Oh. It's alright, boys. It's alright. There's still got a match with some goal difference. We're still top. We don't need to see that again. We just need to get to the end of 90 minutes. That's all we need. I'm not sure Davis is going to make it to the end of the game with this performance. It's just, it's just not going to happen for him. Like as much as I want to play him, I want him to do well. I do need to get Reese Turner a goal. That's abs absolutely key thing here is getting Reese Turner goals. Cannot stress that enough. Let's push forward. Give Davis like 10 more minutes to make an impact, and then he's going off, and Clayton's coming on. Said an impact, not head the ball to them. Come on. I know you're only a kid, son, but there's nothing to play for here. Nash. Oh. Just they're constantly on us now. Oh, that was poor. Okay. Let's head the, let's head the corner clear. Let's not concede. Anyone clear it? Dupre. No. Towards. Oh, Musket with the last ditch tackle. Okay. I've had no shots on target, boys. Not one. Not one shot on target. Nothing. Uh, oh, come on. All right. Plan for less of this being awful. Oh, this, we've had a couple of shots on target. Oh, Reese Turner's finally looking like he's showing up. Good times. All right, Davis. Let's send Davis off. Or take Davis off, even. Boom. Done. Lakin. Awesome. Off you come, boy. It's 
captain on Naby as well. I mean, Lakin's not played badly, but he was starting to tire, and Naby's been begging me for football. So we're going to hope that's enough. Okay. There's currently 19 goals is the gap between us and Crawley. Things can't go horribly wrong, surely. Not in 20 minutes. Rosler. Naby forward. What's he got here? Reese Turner's clear through on goal. Come on. Come on, Reese. Okay, Reese, I hear what you're saying. I failed you. You need Jason. I'm going to send him in. Come on, Oswald and Turner. Possibly their last ride together ever. Can they produce magic for us? Just one piece of magic. Come on. That's it, Muskie. Get out, get out. Oh, giving it away again. Come on. There's plenty of time. Plenty of time. Get it off him, get it off him. Clear it. Oh. It's okay. The title's won. That's not a problem. But I wanted Reese Turner to get 50 goals this season. That's all I really wanted. Musket to Dupree. Dupree forward to Musket again. Oh, they're going to break. Oh, such breaking. Come on. Rosler, forward. Big ball forward. Oswald, come on, you can get to that. You can get to that. Into Dupree, come on. Turner, oh, that's going to be the end of the game. It's 2-0, but we're champions, boys. We are the champions. We are back in the Football League. I started this save. I told you I was going to take Stockport back to the Football League because I was sad that I kept seeing them just stuck in the Conference North forever because they were a championship team when I was a kid. And I said I was going to take them back to the league at the very, very bare minimum. And I've taken them back to the league. That is mission accomplished. And obviously, FM19 is out. Um, I want to continue this game. I do want to continue the save. And I will put up new episodes as often as I can. It might be once a week I put one out um, whilst we focus on the FM19 stuff. But if you want to stay with it, let me know in the comments below. Because um, I feel like we're building something. I know it's not fashionable on that FM on YouTube. To stick with the old game once the new game comes out because no one wants to see it and it doesn't bring in the view account and all that kind of crap you hear. But I've fallen in love with this little club and oh, I just want to keep going until I've got them in the Premier League. I do. I really want to keep them going. Until... Let me know in the comments below. Um, are you happy with this one episode a week? Should we make it the stream save maybe uh how do you want this to continue i guess that's the big question how would you like this this like tipping that as to carry on um i would love to be able to give it to you twice a week but i can't do that on top of fm19 content and uni um but i do want to know what you want um so let me know in the comments below um just confirmation we've won our initial budget is oh, 63 it's not the million something we've got to spend this season, is it? It's not, you know, but it'll do. Uh, yeah, we've, we've won the title, boys. Um, I am going to do one of those edit slash comebacks for uh, the end of season goodness awards, because I don't think they come just yet. Um, just so we can see what's happened, well, where the history we've made at the club is. Let's just have a quick look, see if we're in the favourites. We're in the favoured personnel. That's a, that's an achievement. Darren Stevenson is an icon now. Oswald and Turner are favourites. Yeah. Um, we'll come back for the end of season awards when they appear. Um, Reese Turner is the favourite to be um, player of the season, as you expect. That's pretty much it. Um, we're gonna, like I said, if we do doing those little casual edits I do now, um, 
on, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the awards. Because that feels like a plan. So I'm going to see you in a sec. A few moments later. Okay, guys. And seamlessly, we're back. Um, so, the overall best 11 has been announced. Uh, Tom Dyson with the pick of the four players going in. Got himself a 7.35. Dupre, Yates and Richardson also made their way into the overall best 11. So, Richardson is now the goalkeeper for it. Minahan, Graham, Masonga and Dubry in the back. Burgess, Dyson, Dupre and Stevenson. Oswald and Turner up top, of course. Wheeler, Stop, Warburton, Ball, Tubic, Yates and Pearson on the bench. By the way, Simon Tubic's uh, season, obviously, in the National North has finished. Um, 23 goals, 8 appearances, 7. So 23, 23 appearances, 8 goals, 7, 7 assists and 2 pair of the match awards. 707 rating. They finished ninth in the league, which is not a bad return. Um, he's done all right. He's done all right out there. Uh, end of season award. Let's see what we've got. Darren Stevenson, player of the season. Uh, very well deserved. I mean, you'd think it'd be Reese Turner, really, but you look at his stats and 7.77 average rating overall, 8.03 in the cup, 7.67 across every competition, including friendlies and other such rubbish he's played. Um, I think he played something international, maybe. No, he didn't. Not quite. Um, yeah. So he has won our Player of the Season award. He's, he's had 21 assists this season. He's been a huge contributor. Weird though that Reese Turner didn't win the award. Um, Tom Dyson had our Goal of the Season. Let's have a look at that. The one we showed. I didn't think it really went through. Let's see this goal because I don't remember it. If I'm, if I'm honest, I. So many games and he scored so many goals this season. Remembering an individual goal seems like a lofty ambition. Uh, got a free kick. Lewis heads it clear. Oh, we did show this one. Smashes it away. I do remember doing this live, I think. I definitely remember the goal. That's our goal of the season. Uh, Reese Turner is our signing of the season. Young player of the season is, of course, Reese Turner, too. Uh, and our team of the season is pretty much team the best 11 we've ever had. Uh, 2018-19 review, all came through, we defied expectations, didn't get relegated, won the title. 47.4% uh, 47 full on the ground, used 41 players, the highest in the National League. Rotate your players, boys, and rotate your players. Uh, won the league, lost in the first round of the FA Cup against the Fire, and we did show that. Um, and we lost in the FA Trophy second round against Telford. Match of the season, a 4-1 away win at Wrexham. We were to forget a 4-0 away loss at Ebb's Fleet. Um, squad dynamics. I mean, the players you expect to be influential are all in there. Uh, end of season team meeting. We're going to tell these boys, just in case we do come back, uh, we are... That'll do. That's the way I should look after. Um, end of season conference review. <sighs> it should be untouchable, quite frankly. Uh, wage control has been a highlight. 85% happiness on competitions. 76 on stature. Philosophy we've been happy. Dressing room atmosphere. Stat. 76. 100% on club finance. Beautiful. Matches. 65. Transfers. 58. Oh. Tactics, 50s, whatever, it worked, it got us up. Um, Tubic has spent the most time injured this season of everyone. I mean, hardly anyone out injured at all. Um, beautiful. Yearly training summary. Burgess has performed well to pray. Jordan Downing. I, don't, I forgot about Jordan Downing. Um, he's literally been here since the start. I, I had a look at him and I was like, he's a guy that could turn out to be decent. I've, I've done nothing with him. Interesting. Um, we might extend this contract, you know. I'm not putting any view on the contract. That's unbelievably tight. Um, good, he's happy with that. It's a pay cut. Brilliant. Smart. Uh, Rosler, Tommy Bramley has been impressive overall, which is good. He's no longer suspended, by the way. Um, Termination is shot up. Absolutely shot up. Um, is he still being tutored? I think he is. Still being tutored. Beautiful. Uh, Birchall has been our worst trainer. 
Just the old boys. The old boys have been phoning in. It's fine. I'm going to stop this. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, so, that is the end of the season. That is the end of... It might be the end of the series. It might not be the end of the series. We'll see how we feel once 19 is out, once we get into it. Um, I would like it to not be the end. To be honest, um, I want it to be... I want it to carry on. I want it to carry on forever. But, you know, I've got to keep people watching and get new people onto the channel. And it's such a fight. Like, you know, the trouble is... If I... If I if I was just playing 19, I, there would be new viewers for us to talk to next year. If I was playing 18, no one's going to care. There'll be zero views, or one or two of you maybe might, count, might keep watching. Uh, certainly the stock talk continues. You've been tuning in. It's been brilliant, and you've been great at giving me advice and telling me about the club and stuff like that. Um, I'm sure one or two of you would stick with it. So... I'm going to try and keep this save going with my, alongside 19. If if you just lose all interest in it, you know, if I start seeing viewers going down to zero, I'll finish whatever season one and we'll call it a day. Um, we'll just carry on with 19. You know, it's really frustrating because 18, they get no views. If I started playing FMO8 or Championship Manager 2001 02, I'd get fucking loads of views. <laughs> Apologies, language. Um, but such is life. Anyway, um, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below, hit the subscribe button for much more FM content coming up with FM19. There's going to be experiments and all sorts. Of, you can see the channel plans. There's another video on the channel. Just check that out. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Um, check out below for the Facebook group link, for the Steam community link, for the Patreon if you've got a couple of quid you want to chuck our way for you know, food, because I'm a student and I live in a place like that. This is, you can literally see my entire room. Um, literally the entire room. There's nothing hiding. Um, yeah. Um, thank you very much for being with us, guys. It's, it's, if this is the last time we do Tipping the Hatters for some reason, it's been an absolute pleasure. The Stockport guys, Peter Wilson, who for donating that footage very kindly for the intro. You've been a star. Um, gave me some sort of good advice, good insight into the team, taught me about some of the players, really helped me hit the ground running and helped me get a feel for the club with the documentary you did. It's in the link below, by the way. You guys should always... Oh, if you haven't checked it out already, please do check it out. It's unbelievably good. Um, you guys have been fantastic uh, this season. Hopefully it will continue for a long, long time. It's It's... It's been a wild ride. We are 75 videos into the channel now, I think. Maybe a bit more. And okay, we've gone through like five saves. Because, you know, I'm still trying to find my feet. But this, this Stockport save has been my absolute favourite. One of my favourite games I've played on FM in almost... Jesus, almost 25 years of playing the game. I've been playing since literally Championship Manager. Um... <laughs> One of my absolute favourite saves I've ever had, guys. Um, so, yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant. Much love to Stockport. I really genuinely wish you well for this season. Um, and please try and replicate the, the success we've had today. I want to see you guys back in the league. I do. Um, anyway, I'm rambling now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Have a good one. <laughs>